Gear Guide, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hi, I'm Captain Mike, and welcome to this episode's Gear Guide. Today, I'm going to talk to you really quick about the importance of spooling your reels with a line winding machine. Lots of benefits here, regardless if you're kite fishing, bottom fishing, any application, this is the way to go. First of all, you're going to achieve maximum line capacity, certainly important. All of that line is going to be packed on that spool nice and tight. You're going to avoid crisscrossing the line, and I'll tell you what, you're going to be able to achieve peak performance out of your equipment. Step one, get that spool of line on the machine, slide the line counter down, zero it out. So again, I'll be able to determine exactly how much line I've put on my reel. This entire contraption right here that holds your spool is adjustable, so you can slide it in or out. I like to make sure that it's really centered with exactly where that reel is gonna be. That's gonna be important down the line. Next is mounting the reel. The goal is to have the spindle coming out of the line winding machine perfectly centered with the drive with the handle on your reel. I've already adjusted the horizontal bar here, which goes up and down. Now I'm gonna place the reel in position. I'm gonna bring out that spindle to make sure it's centered as it could be. Just tighten up these wing nuts because this thing vibrates and you don't want that reel coming off of there. Bring out the spindle. And that part right there is ready. Now what we're gonna do is just take our line, tie it right to the spool, trim that as tight to the spool as you can. From here, I'm gonna turn the machine on, make sure it's in forward. It is variable speed. I like to keep it somewhere around two thirds to halfway at the most. It is controlled by a foot pedal, but you don't wanna go too fast. You'll just get yourself in trouble. You can use this little gizmo here to put the line on the reel evenly. I just like to use a gloved hand. I keep my other hand on the spool also to regulate the speed. And from there, it's just a matter of loading the reel to maximum capacity. And then just go back and forth, just like that. Nice and slow, just take your time. Try not to crisscross those wraps. You see how that's nice and even and looks like it's perfect going right across left and right. By using this line winding machine, I've got a full spool packed really tight. I don't have to worry about backlashes, don't have to worry about the line being crisscrossed. And I'll tell you, I'm gonna have a better experience on the water and I'm gonna be a more successful angler because I filled my reels with a line winding machine.